This base is a prototype that was made for me by Michael Stevens of Alpine, Texas, um, who briefly worked at the Fender Custom Shop. Um, but it's designed to be basically a six-string version of uh, the same four-string bass. Uh, as you'll see, the, the pickups look like, uh, well, they look like large dominoes, but they look like elongated versions of the uh, jazz bass pickups that I just showed you. And the setup is really the same. Pickup selector, volume tone, um, the switch is no longer functioning, and uh, the coil tap switches are on the uh, edge of the bass. It's about the basic difference. Um, it's uh, obviously six string, alder wood, maple neck, and pretty much the same as, as the jazz bass. Again, I'm going for that classic jazz bass sound. This is an old P bass uh, that I modified years ago. I almost regret it now. I almost wish I had just left it alone as a, as a P bass because mostly these days I, I use it as a P bass, but years ago I put the, the double jazz bass pickups in the bridge position. And uh, I'm using round wound strings, I mean uh, flat wound strings on it these days, um, going for more of that uh, traditional P bass sound. And uh, I've got some foam stuck in the bridge uh, just to accentuate the, the muting a little bit more. Now for the, uh, the optimum in muting, <laughs> we have this uh, Fender Coronado II, um, which is a 66 actually, but uh, I found it new a couple of years ago through Dan Smith at Fender Instruments. And um, this is about as dead sounding <laughs> as, as anything you can imagine, but it, it, it has a function. I've used it on a couple of records already, and it's, uh, it's, it's kind of fun to play. It's a funky thing. It has uh, nylon wrap strings on it. Uh, it's a shorter scale. I'm not, a, I'm not sure exactly what. Um, but it's dead enough sounding as it is, and then I've stuffed this foam in the bridge. Um, it's a real thumper. But uh, actually, I played it on one tune on our new record coming out, Mystic Mile, on the, uh, on the European version, a tune called I Don't Play. Rounding out what I have here today is just uh, a stock 66 jazz bass. And uh, this is just one of several that I have, actually. Uh, but I use this bass on uh, two Eric Johnson records and uh, various uh, studio things that I've done with Robin. It's uh, completely stock 66 and uh, the pickups are just slightly microphonic. Uh, it's the brightest bass I have. It sounds great. I love it. <laughs> 